Annie, it's within no one's best interest for us to be working so closely together. I know, well, I mean, we, we'll, we'll stick to the plan and we can do that. We can. And I'm not gonna give in. It's just being part of this company, you know, it, it feels good. It's so important to everybody in this house and I feel like the company is another member of the family. I can't argue with that. The glory of Chandler Enterprise has been drilled into me ever since I was two. Yeah. Well, being involved and feeling like a real team player, it makes me feel like I belong. And I've taken a lot from this family, so it feels good to be able to give something back, something positive. Maybe that sounds stupid to you, but... No, it I... doesn't sound stupid to me. Some serious negotiating going on in here? Hmm. I didn't expect to see you this morning. Apparently. Where's Marissa? She's dropping AJ off at the swim camp. And here you are. Chandler's about to make an offer to Cortland Electronics. You met Caleb Cooney on his home turf. Is he as rough as everyone says he is? Well, he doesn't seem like the CEO type. Good. It'll make it that much easier for us. Hmm. With the nanotech invention and this new acquisition, I think Chandler is going to be back on top. Yeah. <sighs> Go somewhere. I need to talk to JR alone. <sighs> what is she doing still hanging around here? She's with Scott. Yeah? And she was with Adam didn't stop her or you. Look, what I did to Marissa destroyed her faith in me and nearly took our marriage with it. I would never endanger the life that we're trying to build for some meaningless night with Annie. I swear to you, you do believe me. I never believe anyone who gives me the hard sell. If you come to New York with me, it will be like that all the time. I can't bail on Tad. You know that. No, I don't know that, and it doesn't make any sense. Or maybe there is something else you can't bail on. Wait, you think there's another girl? Damon, I tell you I love you. And you don't say it back. We were going to go to New York together. Instead, you took two grand from my mother. And you told me to go have fun alone. You were, everything was really cool. And then we went to the wedding and you got all weird. Well, I want us to be together. And I thought that you wanted that too. I do, but you want things that I'm not ready for. Like a commitment, right? <sighs> I got to go. Doing some decorating? Get out, Annie. What did Damon do? It's none of your business. <laughs> you do know you can't kill a cell phone. Damon? Oh, hi. Um, I'm so sorry. I uh, can't come to New York anymore. You're gonna have to find somebody else for the internship. Are you really going to throw your life away for some guy? I love Marissa. I'm not the one you should be telling. Don't break my girl's heart again. 
What's going on? I was just telling your mother why I left the pizza so early because I couldn't stand to be away from you. She's been studying for the bar and I just know that she's gonna ace it. Yeah, I hope so. You must have read my mind. I was gonna call you. I'm really sorry about the other day. You know what? Why don't we go somewhere for a couple of hours? Sure. Yeah. Okay. But, but first, um... I know I've been saying that it's time for me to move back into our bedroom. But I finally did it. This morning I put my things in our room. And I put something else back where it's supposed to be, too. is a first-class jerk. No, uh, he just wants to be left alone. It'd be my pleasure. Yeah? Yeah. You're not remotely interested about why he's so messed up? Yeah, no. I, I think I've wasted enough time with that overbearing bully. I don't know. I kind of feel sorry for him, you know? I've, I've been in his shoes before. Are you kidding me? You are just the opposite. No, I mean, you know, pushing people away like that, you know? Avoiding commitment. And what the hell? I did it to you not too long ago, remember? But unlike Mr. Cooney, I know it's a mistake. One I don't intend to repeat anytime soon. No matter how risky it is. You think we're risking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> risky. risky is good. Risky. Or risque. It's, that's even better, actually. Well, this doesn't feel like a pre-wedding feet prep place. Well, that's because you're now using your imagination. I want you to close your eyes. Yeah, close them. Okay. Em. And I want you to imagine that we are at our wedding reception. Oh, nice smile from that. I like that. <laughs> Got it? Hold it. Hold it. Ah. You see, before you hire a band to play at your wedding, you have to make sure they can play your song. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, <laughs> Gee, I'm a little rusty. It's okay. It's okay? fine. Yeah? Okay. Let's go. Here we okay. go. <laughs> whoa, whoa, sorry. <laughs> I don't really understand what happened. We always dance so beautifully together. Yeah, well, I just think we need to uh, find our own rhythm again. <laughs> 